Hello beautiful budgeting friends and welcome back to Budgie Budgets um, or welcome if you are new. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, today we are going to do a quick cash unstuffing for the week, kind of like a weekly check-in, weekly wrap-up. So we're going to unstuff what we need to unstuff. We'll do our weekly check-in um, for what we've spent for groceries, takeout, petrol and the chemist and um, do our budget plan for the week upcoming. Um, so I thought I might try them, try doing it separately. So do the budget today and then do the cash shopping on its own on Tuesday, just so the videos are a little bit shorter. Uh, and you guys can um, let me know what you prefer. I'd be really intrigued whether you prefer it all in one video and it's longer or whether you prefer it in two separate videos. So they're a bit shorter um, to watch. So let's get into our unstuffing. There's not terribly much this week, thank goodness, because uh, last week was a lot. Uh, so this week we are taking $60 out of subscriptions. Um, that's for something that I don't actually have on this tracker because it's a new one. It's a health-related um, subscription for me, a little app that I'm going to try. Uh, so that's that one. And then next we are taking, here I was getting all excited that we might get through the holidays without spending this money. Um, but no, rest assured, mum guilt set in. Uh, so we're taking 10, 20, 30 out of there. We actually spent 60, so I'm cash flowing the other 30 out of the budget for the coming week. Um, mostly because I didn't want to pull it out of my savings challenge, the no problem challenge. Um, because I just think I may as well keep that towards next school holidays um but no it was a really good day out i took the kids to a place called clip and climb um so they do like all these it was like 30 or 40 different rock climbing walls they're all like themed and funny and um they clip themselves into the little like retractable line on the roof and so when they get to the top they can just step like kind of let go of the wall and it slowly lowers them down so they had a ball it wasn't the cheapest activity ever but um yeah we had to do something inside that like the weather here i was speaking of i hope the lighting's okay today because it's just so dark it is like we've gone straight into winter i don't know where autumn is uh it seems to have missed us um which is fine like i don't mind i actually prefer the colder weather my health is usually better in the colder weather so that's fine by me but it's just so dark um okay and then birthdays we're unstuffing that 30 uh, because I went and got my brother-in-law his present. So in total, we have unstuffed 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, 120, going back to the bank, which is much more reasonable than the almost $1,000 that I had to take out last week. So we'll put that off to the side and then let's have a look in our beautiful budget binder i might or planner i should say i might actually zoom you guys in a little bit further just so you can see what i'm writing a bit easier um so uh let's go to april shall we do our little check-in first so for week two uh, we added 790 to groceries. We spent $308.90. And so we have $481.10 left. Um, that is pretty likely to all go this week because the kids are going back to school, which means I need to stock up on snacks and things. Uh, Takeaway, we added 60. We spent 60. We have nothing left. Petrol, we added 100. And I managed to fill up my whole tank for 89, which is so nice. There's $11 left in there, which will roll over. And the chemist, we added 20. We spent all of it. And there is nothing left in there for now. So I'll just write these in here now, ready for next week. Um, so that's that done. I don't know these like um, cash stuffers who have families. 
I think I need to take some lessons on grocery shopping, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I just don't seem to be able to get our grocery bill down. It just keeps escalating. And I'm not sure whether it's that I have two teenagers in the house and they just eat like the world is ending. Um, yeah, or if maybe I'm just not good at kind of frugal shopping. I do try. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, if you have any brilliant tips, feel free to pass them on. Um, so this is for the pay period from the 16th to the 22nd. Our income for this one is 840. So that's everything that we got minus what we've put aside for rent. And then we are putting $20 for internet and 12 for home insurance. 61 for uh, health insurance, four dollars towards our ambulance cover. I am going to have to bump that up a little bit actually because I think it's due in June and I don't quite have enough in there uh, for the whole lot. I'm close but it's not quite there. Uh, Apple Care is getting three dollars. That's insurance for my youngest school iPad because we all know if I have the insurance, I won't need it. But if I don't have it, I definitely will. Um, 78 for swimming. And then we have an Xbox membership, subscription, whatever you want to call it, um, for my husband. And we have Spotify for all of us. Um, I have Apple iCloud. He's getting two. I just have like the tiniest basic membership with them. And then I feel like um, I probably should have put these over in variable expenses. Um, maybe I will. I think I will. So that should total 289. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just changing what my plan was because <laughs> I put them in the wrong spot. So um, that should be $1.99. And then over here, we have uh, tolls because they stung me early. So we're putting $31 to that instead of our normal nine. For some reason, um, yeah, we must have used them more in the last few weeks because that's come around a lot faster than I was expecting. Um, four dollars towards Mikey just for when hubby has to go into work and 24 chemist I keep changing whether I call that chemist or pharmacy but I don't want to have to write out pharmacy each time <laughs> $20 for spending that's $10 each for hubby and I and then we have family fun pay for the rest of that clip and climb $30 oh and the $10 that I didn't know about last week was um, for some expenses for budgie budgets for the Etsy store that I had to cover I worked that out later uh, car service is just getting 10 but I'm doing that online instead of in there because the service is this week and then um, budgie budgets is getting $50 so that total should be one sixty five, and we should have four seventy six left over. Then we have all of our cash envelopes. They are getting. 305 it's a bit lower this week because of bumping up those other things but that's okay uh, and that includes savings challenges in that and then we have debt over here so the visa is getting 70 um, MasterCard is getting 44 my ATO is getting 57 and I totally forgot to write down here 305 which leaves 171 171 which leaves nothing at all so that is our budget for this week and you will see where those cash envelopes are going if you join me for my video on Tuesday 
Uh, and then the only other thing I thought we might do in this video is just update our little, are you going to stay there? Don't fall down. There we go. Update our Round It Up Challenge. This has been quite popular online, which is a little bit exciting. Um, so this week we had $3.79 in Round Up. So let's take off 92 cents. I actually really like this one. Um, and 91. Whoops. Color outside the lines. And the other 91. And that still leaves us with a dollar and five. So we'll take the other 90. And then we'll do the 15. Beautiful. Yay. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for um, joining me for today's budget with me. And um, yeah, if you've liked what you've seen, if you can come back and watch again, that would be awesome. If you could like, comment, subscribe, push the bell notification so you'll know when I'm coming up with another video. Um, it's all so hugely appreciated. And thank you again to everyone who's checked out my Etsy store. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really incredible. I'm so, so stoked. Um, yeah, that's all for today. So I will see you guys again soon. I hope you will have a brilliant weekend.